Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Zero from TechFacker.info, and today we have da -da -da -da, a sub Saturday. I know it, it's been a way, way, way too long. There we go, way too long. And today we are looking at Yellowfly in the Amex M449L. And I stink. I stink? I stink. <laughs> Dang it. I think that stands for Liberté. Oh god, I'm trying to read what's on the barrel. Egelite? Egelite? Fre. Stop turning! Stop! Fer. Wait. Screw it. There we go. Liberté Egalité Fred. Fraternite. What? Fraternite? Fraternite? Um. Freedom. Egalite? I'm not sure. And Fraternite? It's like friends or. combined together? I have no idea. I've not seen anything about this thing, so I'm just trying to translate this. Liberté, of course, is freedom, or liberating, or that's where the word liberating comes from, um, from the Latin, um, which I'm trying to remember what it was in Latin. It's very close to the Liberté. Uh, liberate? I think it's Liberate in Latin. Don't hold me to that, though. My Latin is like, I know two words. And I think the other one is, I do believe, isn't it Ego or something for me? So, anywho, um, I have not been in World of Tanks. I have pretty much not been keeping up with anything when it comes to World of Tanks. I have not seen the tech tree, I have not seen anything. So, I did here and there, you know, pick up some news, see some stuff, but I've been busy as all hell the last couple of months, so I have not seen much. I do know of this tank, and that's about it. I have no idea if it's... What is it? It's a tier 8. Okay. Let's take a look here. So I have no idea of the capabilities of this thing. Uh, 300 damage, 232 penetration. That's not bad. Not bad at all. We're having some trouble here with the Firefly. Mighty fine tank, by the way. Uh, Minimap, by the looks of it, has it gotten an update. I guess you can sort of see where you actually can go and where you can't go. Is that what the light and dark is? And we have three circles, um, view range, no idea. Render range is probably the yellow one, the outside circle there. Anything out of render range you cannot see. Not sure what the white range is. It doesn't have binoculars, so I'm not quite sure what that is. And it seems we've passed by the entire enemy force. They have nothing in the back. Which means we are gonna outflank them. Fantastic, we'll have them in a pincer move here. They don't know where to turn. And we get spotted, but that's okay. First tank is turning around. The new rate of fire is rather slow in this thing. And SG100Y is not the most accurate. And he bounces his shot. Now these new target markers of where the damage is coming from. That is completely new for me. I've seen a video or two a while back. It's like, what the hell is that? It must be a new mod or something. But... No, that's actually actually vanilla. So we are getting around these guys. I really hope that the rest of the flank there can actually hold them down. Because if they can, oh, they're they're struggling badly. You're you know coming up around them here. You're doing some work, but this is not good. It's actually a good position from the IS3. Um, not so good for us though. But the question is, nope. I was gonna say, okay, what I was thinking here is, it's a... <sighs> Space armor, that sucker. It's a good... Okay, hold on. So, I was saying it's a good position, because they're getting outflanked here, right? Now, it is a shame that our troops there got annihilated. Not sure what the 110 is doing out there. He should have held here, and... Yeah. Anywho, that's beside the point. Anywho. Let's say that these guys here are tied up, right, against our forces. They're still fighting them, you know, fighting back and forth, shooting. We could come up behind them and they would be completely, you know, flanked. And they 
wouldn't have they, they would have to choose where to point their guns or their frontal armor, right? Now, if you position a tank over there, that's actually really smart because that means I cannot, well, yellow fly in this case, but me, as in this tank, cannot just go up here and shoot them in the ass because then we get shot on the side. And we can not just focus on him because then they could potentially turn around and shoot me. But either way, they are semi protected from getting shot in the ass. Um, or we're gonna get shot without being able to return fire because we're focusing there rather than him. So that would be a really good position if it was actually strategically chosen. Now this person did not seem to strategically choose that spot, he just seemed to need to park his tank somewhere to shoot into the middle. So supposedly this thing is pretty good um, from what I've heard and I've not heard too much about it. Trying to keep this IS-3 ooh, between us and the IS-6, IS-6 misses. We did manage to track the uh, IS-3 there, that is good, let's set up behind him, IS-6 of course, not the most accurate, track hit, I think that's critical damage that we got there, we track him in return, we got tra uh, track damage, um, which counts as a critical, but not critical track damage, as in we didn't get tracked, ammo rack, that's not good, our shot goes slightly wide, we're aiming for his lower plates, but actually managed to hit his uh, uh, track there again, which is fine, We've, in the meantime, fixed our ammo rack, retrack him, keeping this rack between us and the IS-3 there. And we bounce a shot from the IS-3, that wasn't the IS-6 that shot, that was the IS-6. Uh, the rest of the map is not looking too great, we're actually still losing this. Come on. Ah, tracking only shot, not what we need right now. He misses his show. Need to finish him off, but we just can't afford... Okay, now we can. Come on, there we go. Another one into his lower plate. Not sure why his IS-3 is backing off. Not a clue at all why he would do that. We just have to hold on here. There's a CDC coming around. Um, so this thing is quite armored, I'm surprised. Track damage, nothing else. And he is hiding his hull quite well as well. We know that the CDC is coming up behind him. Come on, CDC. For a second there, I was thinking the CDC was going to go uh, straight there. Wiggling our turret as best we can. He misses. Put another shot in. CDC comes up behind him. Puts a shot up in his ass. Come on. Last shot to finish him off. Come on. Reload, reload, reload. And the CDC finishes him off. CDC, by the way, fantastic tank as well. You really need to know how to handle the thing, though, because it has no armor and it is gigantic. But the thing is fast as all hell. <laughs> Four versus one, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Firefly is on dangerously low health. We have a Remetal Borsig back in the base to, combined with a. I'm trying to see what else is in there. Uh, 88. Actually, 152. That means a T25 2 is back in the base. Um, T25 2 is a. Uh, it's a bad tank that I did well in and I really didn't like it. <laughs> Very weird ass tank. So this tank seems to be very un-French. It has armor. What the hell? <laughs> What's wrong with you, tank? <laughs> so I have no idea what this tank is about. I'm, I'm guessing it's like an upgraded version of the uh, Amex M4. Or it's a later model or revision or... That's T25-2. 88 is up there. We got a sideways shot onto his hatch there. And we miss... Uh, miss? Wow. Blah. Miss. I can speak. At this point, I would not focus on the 88. It is really not the most important tank. Ow. That sucked. Where did he go in? I think we might have been exposing our side a little bit too much there. Put another shot into him as we bounce his return shell. Is he going to peek out again? Reloading his tank when you're not ammo racked is pretty decent. There's the 88. Gotta be careful though, one more shot, nice shot, goes into his hatch, T25-2 gets finished off, that is great because we are not spotted at the moment and the AT8 is the last one alive, bounce a shot, accuracy in this thing does not seem to be its forte, we'll take a look at tanks GG after this uh, for a moment, blind shot and we finish him off, nice, let's head over to tanks.gg and take a look at this tank and then we'll head over to the stats. And here we are. Let's take a look at what this thing is about. It is a tier 8 premium heavy tank. 1800 DPM. Mm, not terrible. 
Could be worse. 300 damage, 232 penetration. We already saw that. Just under 10 second reload without uh, upgrades. 0.35 accuracy, not the most accurate. Um, let's see. After firing three, yeah, that's pretty bad. Damage for the modules, no idea. It's a 100 millimeter shell, 1000 meter per second velocity. 720 max range, 60 shells, that's pretty good. Top speed of 40, eh, for heavy, that's not terrible. More interested about the armor, though. There we go, 180 frontal armor, that kind of slope, that's pretty good. Um, not the most armored, but turret 250 on the front, wow, that is pretty damn nice. Okay, so that's pretty damn good. Um, side armor on the turret is pretty decent at 120, and rear armor not great. Side and rear armor of the tank itself at 55 and 40. For side scraping, 55 isn't terrible, but certainly not the best. Let's take a look here. Uh, uh, no, that's not what I want. Where do you get the armor view? There it is. So, excuse me if you hurt my stomach. Um, yeah, if you side scrape, this side is still pretty weak. Um, it does auto ricochet, of course, at that kind of angle. Results still ricochet. Okay, so you can angle this thing 100% chance, so yeah, you need to be very careful. You can angle this thing pretty much this flat plate towards them, and they still need about 190 millimeters to go through there, so if at all possible, you probably want to keep this thing angled like this. Um, you get a top down view, so um, pretty much keep your turrets. Wait, where's the turret? Like, sort of like that is probably the, the angle you want to keep this thing angled at. Possibly a little bit more, no, a little bit more even. Yeah, like that. So you really want to get your turret. I said. No, there. Come on, click your stupid thing. Why ain't you clicking? No, no, that's not what I want. Why won't it stay? This is really freaking annoying. Like, is it where you exit? Is that where it just stays? No, that doesn't seem to work either. There we go, now it stays. There we go. So this is probably about what you want to angle. This, yeah, a little bit more even, so. A little bit more like that. There we go, that's about the angle you want to angle this thing. Lower plate, pretty strong as well. Um, turret, as you can see, hatch is a big weak spot. Turret roof is a pretty big weak spot. So, trying to take this thing out, that's where you shoot. And there's also, interesting, that's a ricochet zone. Hmm. That's, oh, we're shooting up into it. Okay, let's take a look at, cause, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, even if you angle like this, you can shoot the turret roof, which is an auto ricochet, depending on your caliber, of course. And you have that hatch, which is pretty prominent. Side here is pretty much an auto ricochet, but you can possibly shoot like right here, like between the tracks. It's a bit hard to see though. It's still a ricochet. I'm not sure what, what caliber we're shooting with here, what it's calculating. I have no idea where to see that or change that. Doesn't matter. It depends on the caliber you're shooting, but um, okay, pretty good. Um, rear, gigantic, weak. Back of the turret, pretty bad. Shooting it from the side, back of the turret seems to work quite well. Middle still works, front, depending on your caliber and how much uh, well, how much penetration you have. So yeah, you want to shoot this thing pretty much in the back and then all the way through there. Even with the spaced armor, you can still shoot it through the tracks. So that is the Amex M4 MLE 49. So this MLE, I do believe, stands for like the year it was made or something, I think. Um, so 1949 is when this was created. So let's take a look at the stats, shall we? And here we are, Mastery Badge First Class, we got a Duelist Fighter, Fire for Effect, Shell Proof, Spartan, and a High Caliber. Um, statistics for Jeff, what? Oh, that just takes it to his account, I guess, okay. Not a clue. Walked away with 4,500 damage done, 4 kills, 1,300 base experience here. Um, yeah, the 110, I'm not quite sure what that was doing. I didn't really look at where he was at the beginning, but if he was at the... Um, nah, you can't tell. I wish they would put the minimap up in here. Um, if he was on the south... No. 
west flank. There we go. If he was on the west flank, they could have held that, and uh, yeah, they could have really flunk, flunk, flanked, flanks, flanked around. Man, I'm full of grammar mistakes today. Wow, well, I need more coffee, I guess. Um, and that would have been way more effective. But either way, they still pulled out a win with a decent amount of people still alive. So can't complain about that. Fire 23, hit 22. As I said, 4,500 damage done. Uh, one shot from range, pretty much it seems, or two maybe. Uh, took 10 hits, four of them penetrated, six did not. 1,800 damage blocked by armor. So the armor on this thing seems quite effective. Um, you know, it's French, I'm quite surprised. Spotted one, damaged six, destroyed four, 70 spawning damage. Woohoo! <laughs> um, drove two kilometers with our premium account, would have made 54,000 credits. Not bad, 54k, but with a premium account made 98k, pretty damn good, and with premium 4,282 experience, pretty dang nice. So yeah, overall pretty good. Um, I have not played the game yet, I will soonish. Um, I don't know, uh, Monday I'm probably gonna release, or maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure, another Master of Orion episode, because I really enjoyed that game and I already played another episode, and I kinda wanna record another one because I just wanna play it, but I'll try to restrain myself. Um, I'm not quite sure when the next World of Tanks or Armored Warfare video will be out during this uh, coming week. It is still rather busy, hopefully after this week things should calm down quite a bit, and that should help, so... Yeah, um, expect like one more week and then hopefully yeah, we'll get back into a regular schedule. And I'll see if I can post a schedule as well and we actually uh, will set up a schedule. So if you guys have any tips or suggestions or want to see a certain schedule or um, let me know what you think of the Masters of Orion, Master of Orion. And let me know what you think about World of Tanks and Armored Warfare content. Just let me know everything. What do you want to see on the channel? The channel will change a little bit. I've still yet to do the channel update. Um, I guess we can do that here a little bit since it's only a single episode today because I don't have time, so we'll do this quickly. Um, the channel will change a bit. I'm going to put up a more variety of games, um, which some of you might not enjoy, might not like. It's very simple. Just don't watch them. <laughs> it is that simple. If you don't like a particular... Let's say you don't like Masters of Orion, which I don't know why because it's a hell of a lot of fun, but might not be your cup of tea, then just don't watch it. It's that simple. Um, I do that with, this with channels as well, where I just watch particular videos of theirs and I skip others because I'm not interested in that. That's fine. If you want to watch just the World of Tanks content, well, nobody's stopping you. Just watch the World of Tanks content if you want to see the Armored Warfare, you know, if you want to see only Armored Vehicle content, sure. So I'll see if I can set up a schedule, and that should make it easier for people to figure out when they need to watch what. Uh, what? Jeez, holy crap, I can't talk. I'm going to uh, make another cup of coffee here. My god, this is bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is terrible. Um, so yeah, um, that, that's sort of the changes I have in mind for the channel. I'm going to do a lot more um, different content, a lot more... Um, content that's not World of Tanks or Armored Warfare and just play games I enjoy playing. I don't want to get stuck into one game or possibly two and hope to get um, just some new people in here as well, you know, to watch the new content. Um, and like I said, it's going to be fine if people are going to join for just one particular video or one particular game type or that's absolutely fine. That's why I'll work into a schedule and then, you know, they'll know like, oh, I just want to see Master of Orion, for instance, I'll just have to watch on day X, X, and X, or what, however many times I do it a week. And then if I just want to see Armored Warfare content, they just, you know, they can watch it that day. And Yeah, I'll see what I can do for a schedule, and I'll see where I'll put that schedule. But for now, that was a lot of ranting. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this sub-Saturday. It has been quite a while. I know. I'm, I'm trying to get back into it. It is difficult, but we are going to try. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.